Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn Daily Energy for Thursday, October 7th. And this may or may not resonate with you. If it does, take what does. If it does not, leave what does not. Also, you have the power to change my life for the better just by liking, subscribing, and watching my video all the way through. I greatly appreciate any and all of your support. I truly, truly do. You have no idea. All right. Let's see, we have Four of Swords, we have the High Priestess, we have the King of Swords, we have the Queen of Wands, we have the Six of Swords. I feel like Six of, six of Swords is coming out a lot for Capricorn lately and I feel like a lot of you are moving away from things, moving on from things. I feel like you're, a lot of you are growing and learning and coming into your own. Um, we have the Queen of Cups. We have the Two of Cups. We have the High Priest. And we have the Two of Swords. The, this is the Hierophant. All right. I feel like, like I was saying before, I feel like a lot of you are coming into your own. I feel like a lot of you are feeling more confident that you're making decisions that are more in your favor, that are, that are, that are working for you, that are helping you to reach your goals, that you're becoming more in tune with that inner voice that you're you're thinking about things from a different perspective but I feel like you're also not overthinking things um, you're overcoming those difficult situations now for the overall energy we have the two of swords um, and that's about making a decision but not having all the information yet um, but here, I f we have a person who is explaining something, but they have their hand in their pocket, and then they have one person who's kind of stepping away, who's kind of stepping back, and it's like, wait a minute. Before I make my decision um, on what I want to do, I need to step back, and I need to think about this. I feel like maybe somebody is presenting you with something. Um, it could be a relationship coming back in, but I feel like, because we do have this Two of Cups here, but I feel like you need some time to think about it before you proceed any further. I feel like this is your energy. For some of you, you could be this energy here where you're stepping back and you're thinking about something. But for some of you, for some of you, for some reason, I'm feeling like... There may be something that you want to present to somebody. There may be somebody that you want to talk to. I'm almost feeling like that energy. That you're... That you've thought about it, but you feel inside that there's somebody that you want to reach out to. Because I'm looking at the King of Swords here, and he has these letters. He's opening up these letters. Um, he's looking through these letters. And we have the, the wheel, which is ready for change. Things coming around. I feel like there's somebody that you're emotionally attached to that you've been thinking about that was a relationship that you want to reach out to for some of you. Let's see, let's get some clarifying cards. For some of you, I feel like somebody comes towards you and wants, like, wants to communicate with you again and you're like stepping back and you're like wait a minute I have to think about this um, it could be that they send you a letter or some sort of not a letter but like a communication email text something like that and then for some of you I feel like you're this side 
where you have had somebody that's on your mind and you you wanted you've been thinking about reconnecting or reaching out to that person but you haven't done it because you're not really sure how they're going to handle it because you're like I don't know if I want to do it because what if they they're not receptive to this so I feel like maybe that's what's held you back we have the King of Swords again, so we have the King of Swords twice. Now this could be an air sign that you want to reach out to. Um, it could also be somebody, the King of Swords is somebody who is, he's an analyzer, he's a thinker, he doesn't just jump into things, like he needs to analyze things before um, he does anything and he doesn't let people into his inner circle very often but if you're in there then you know you're you're in there like you're like you've proven yourself to that person and I feel like maybe for those of you that want to reach out to someone you you know that this person is this way and you're like I don't know if this person's going to let me back in because I know I know that they're going to want to step back and think about it before I present myself to them. Um, <coughs> we have the High Priestess and then we have the Empress. So it's something that you're feeling within, but I feel like you've I don't know. I, I, for some reason, I'm feeling like marriage and like a commitment. But then for some of you, I feel like it's it's something that you you feel inside. I don't know. I'm just having this feeling that you feel inside that this person is someone that you want to connect with. King of Swords and Three of Cups. This person makes you happy. This this. This person makes you feel like celebrating. This person feels, I feel like you had a lot of fun times together. And I feel like for those of you that want to reach out to this person, this is what you're remembering. I feel like you've grown a lot from this situation, from the separation from this person. I feel like this is person, someone that you are not in union with right now, but you've had this person on your mind because the two of you had a really good time together and you had a lot of positive things going on, but I feel like the two of you separated. I'm not really sure why, but I feel like you've grown and you've learned a lot from that relationship, but you have this feeling inside that this is somebody that you want to reconnect with. Somebody that's been on your mind, somebody that you've been thinking about. There's someone that's on your mind. I feel that 100%. Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles. There's definitely something that happened between the two of you. Whether this person is coming towards you or you're going towards that person, there is something that happened between the two of you um, that you have to... But I feel like you've put the work in to move past it, though. I feel like you've you've put the work, the work in. And then we have the High Priestess again. It's just that feeling that you have inside that you feel like you want to reconnect with this person and that things have changed. Um, the High Priestess is about listening to that inner voice. We have the Queen of Cups and we have the Ten of Wands. It's something that's been on your mind for a while and it's kind of been an emotional burden for you. Because I feel like even though you try and move away from it, you keep going back to it. You keep going back to this person. It's almost like you you either want to restart something or you need some closure from something. But I feel like this is more something that you want to restart because we have this Two of Cups. Yeah, okay, there was some heartbreak. There was some distance in the past. Um, there's definitely something that happened between the two of you. But I feel like it's something that you've learned from and you've grown from. It's something that's been an emotional burden for you. And then we have the Hierophant, and then we have the King of Wands. Um, 
I feel like there's some actions that you need to do to clear this energy. There's something that you need to do to clear this energy. I almost feel like I almost feel like either oh, 10 of cups, yeah. I don't feel like it's closure. I, f I don't feel like, I feel like you want to reconnect with this person, that this person's been on your mind. I feel like this is somebody that you want to reach out to. And you want to see if there's another chance for the two of you. And of course, you have to do what you feel is best for you. Um, you know, what whatever you're feeling. But what I'm getting from these cards is somebody who had a relationship with somebody. You had a breakup. But I feel like what happened was because one or both of you was really not ready for the relationship at that time. That you had... One or both of you had to learn and you had to grow and you had to process and you had to mature and you had to um, work through things. But I feel like the two of you had a connection. I feel like the two of you had this bond between each other, but it wasn't the right time then. And I feel like the two of you have learned and you've, you've grown from it. And... Now you're ready to come around again and try it again. But it's something that you want to take slow. It's something that you have to work at. I, something that you have to work through. It's something that um, I feel like with the high priest, with the... Um, Hierophant here is that you felt family, you felt a connection, you felt like the safety and the security within that. Um, and that's what you want to get back to. Because we ended with a Ten of Cups. Now this can have a Ten of Cups outcome, but only if that both of you are ready to, to make this Ten of Cups happen. You both have to be in the same place, and I kind of feel like you are, but I do feel like the two of you have some things to work through, though, to get to that point. But I do feel like the two of you are ready to reconnect. I do feel, even though there's been some hurt or some disconnect, and it could be, you know, the Three of Swords is that it could be that the t two of you are living in different areas that maybe one of you, maybe it's not even heartbreak, maybe it was one of you had to move away from the other person, say you had to move cross country or to another country or to another place and you guys have had a long distance relationship and you sort of lost touch just because it was a long distance relationship but now the two of you are coming back together, like, like like you're moving closer or you've decided, hey, you know, I really want to work on this relationship and bring us closer together. So this could just be a long distance relationship that you decide that you want to work on, that you want to really try and make this work. Because that's what Three of Swords can be too. Because I wasn't really feeling heartbreak, but I, I now that I'm thinking about it, I feel like it's distance. There was some distance between the two of you. And maybe the two of you just sort of lost touch or you're not connecting or maybe you agreed that, hey, we can see other people. But now that you've seen other people, you're like, hey, I really like this person. This is the person that I want to connect with. Or it could be that maybe you know, you're, you want to move in together. Maybe that's what it is, you know, with this house here, because I'm really focusing on that. It's this house, and it could be maybe one person presents the other person with a, hey, you know, let's live together. Um, and maybe that's something that is presented. I keep seeing this hand here, this reaching out, this hand here, this hand here, reaching out, reaching out. Um, asking for an opportunity to whatever that may be in representing you. 
So either you're reaching out to this person and saying, hey, let's live together, or that person is reaching out and saying, hey, let's live together, or hey, let's you know work on this relationship, whatever that is that represents to you. But I feel like you're both in that place where you want to give this a try and you want to grow this relationship because you're feeling inside that this is the person that you want to be with and you're ready for change ready to change things up and you're ready to put the work in all right let's see um let's do i don't know my first thought was let's try a romance angel okay this one flipped over chemistry okay <laughs> That's funny because that's what I was feeling between the two of you is I feel like there's some chemistry between you and this person. That there's always been chemistry between the two of you. And we have a little Cupid's arrow right here. He's ready to, you know, shoot his arrow, you know, within this, this, this couple. And look at this, the hand, the hand again, the hand, the hand, the hand right here, okay? Um, which I feel like that, that represents opportunity. And I feel like, you know, the two of you just have this chemistry between each other that you can't deny and that the two of you are just ready to work on this. However, that may be in representing you and that person and bring that distance closer together. All right, thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.